Hi there, I know you can't see me, but you can see my hands as they work at this. Uh, what I've been doing this morning is uh, straightening out these extrusions that I made the other day. I showed you some pictures of them, some stills. And now what I want to do is, I've got this last one that I want to work on a little bit, so I'm going to clear the deck so we can get a better view of it. Um, I did a little bit of straightening already, but what I want to show you is the basic tools for this thing. And what I've come to really rely upon is a, just an ordinary yardstick. I got this one at Home Depot. You can get them whatever place you have. Um, and I draw it through like this. And I hope you can see that. But I do that on each side, and I can see it improving the, the flatness of the extrusion as I draw it through. I try to do it through all four uh, sides. Like that. At any rate, now this one's pretty good, like I said. And then the other thing... I use pretty regularly are paddles like this. These have become my buddies. You can see how much they've been used, all the clay that's on them, but that actually helps make them extra good. Nothing sticks to them anymore. Uh, and so they feel good in my hands, they're the right length. And I just coax the crooked out of, out of the uh, extrusion, the square extrusions this way. And those of you that have used North Stars know that there's a, a seam typically, and that can be a, a vulnerable place for these. And so where those seams are, right down the middle, where the uh, clay ran around the uh, extruder die's uh, uh, Z bracket, I pushed a little extra hard to help make that meld better. I didn't have any trouble with these. And I may have mentioned in the uh, Facebook post that I made these with my big blue extruder using a uh, die adapter for the smaller extrusion dies that were used to make this. This, by the way, is about a a two and a half inch uh, die. And uh, so that's about it for this little brief demo. And what I'm gonna do next is cut these down to size. So um, I'll get going at that and then after I have a few cut, I'll show you how I do a couple of them just to give you the flavor of it. Thanks, stay tuned.